Hi everyone, welcome back to the podcast. Happy Sunday morning. I hope you had a wonderful Saturday evening and you're recovering well and you've enjoyed your long weekend. Friday for some of you chose off or at least you went home early. Some of you might have had Saturday off and now you're looking forward to your Sunday to recover, rejuvenate and get back at it tomorrow for a new week. So as the new week is unfolding, there are strategies and thoughts to have in mind when the markets open. As we are recording this earlier, we do not know what is happening between Israel and Iran. There's all this news about it, where the Israeli cabinet seems to be discussing and voting on options against Iran. And there seems to be something imminent to happen. Maybe by the time me and Dana have recorded this and this is airing, this imminent thing might have happened already over the weekend. Then you can expect a volatile week ahead in the market. If it's not happened, we might be still sitting on needles because still it happens because Israel said it's going to be a surprise. Mm. We're going to have major swings in oil. We'll have major swings in the global market and to bring all this into context and awareness we have Dana here with this topic and we will try to elucidate and enlighten Dana on the ways to think about the market in such volatile times. So what is the topic today Dana? From your words you are telling about Israel and Iran. Hmm. War impact on the crude oil prices. Hmm. The crude oil prices impact the paint stocks in India. Yes. So, Why? Uh, and that's the question I was wait, wait, wait. going to ask Why? you. Uh, Why does wood oil Mm. and paint are two separate things. Crude oil is the best component for making the paint. Sir. Your engineering degree is worth it. Man. Huh? Your engineering degree is worth it. You at least remember that much. <laughs> that the main <laughs> ingredient for <laughs> paint is oil. <laughs> oil paint. Not bad. <laughs> Your degree is worth it. Mm. Chalo. Pass. Mm. Pass. <laughs> Why you are pass? Yeah, sir. Mm. And the first question is how the crude oil price impact the paint. So I answer is we speak that. And how to analyze the paint company stocks. First thing what need to notice in the fundamentals. Like we are looking for the PER price to book. Like we need to discuss article in the mint. So in the mint they are mentioning uh, lots of things. But in the summary the entry of Birla company. Birla company has a name of uh, Birla Opus into the paint industry. So it gives the intense competition to the already players. Like uh, Asian paints, Neurolac, Verger like the paints. So in that uh, competition, the profit margins are uh, stagnant between the 14 to 20 percentage. Hmm. And the analysts, uh, now they are thinking paint company, all the stocks are overvalued. Hmm. Like price earnings to growth ratio it at around 2.8. Hmm. But it's not justified for the value right hmm. now what they are having. Right now the paint industry has changed to like a cement industry. Hmm. Because everyone was focusing on the market share, not hmm. focusing on the profitability. Hmm. Okay. First of all, historically speaking, in India, for some reason, paint company, especially Asian paints, which is the most popular mm. darling for investors, especially mm. FIIs, right? There's the biggest paint company in India right now. And it's trading at its PE at 57, almost 57.9. So you can say 58. Okay. And you see the historic PE for over a period of 10 years, 60.9. So if you see, mm. always Asian paints has been overvalued. overvalued. Why? I do not know. There is nothing in paints especially Asian paints, that demands that it to be valued so much. So, and if you look at the ownership of mm. Asian paints, that's the promoters. Promoters are 52%, right? Mm. Then you have the FIIs, which are 15%. And historically, if you see, FIIs had 20% and they've been diluting their position in Asian mm. paints. From 20, they've come down to 15. 15. Uh -huh. While domestic investors have gone from 6, six to, to 12, 12, right? Mm. Government is hardly there. Mm. The public has been maintaining a percentage of around 20%. 20, 90. Mm. So, why... Asian paints deserves this much love and affection, I can't understand. Mm. But I understand, sir. Mm. Because I was doing paint work in the past two years, okay. like in the COVID time. Mm. That time, if you are doing any contract in the building, that building owners, even if the household also, they are only looking for the Asian paints. They don't look at for the Berger, Neurolog. If it is a good paint, we are going to suggest also, they are only tell no, only Asian paint. Because that demand in the retail peoples like us, so that's why. So I agree. There is something Asian paints, the way they are doing market marketing and sales is making great impact in the market. Mm. Like you said, that Asian paints is the preferred paint. In terms of anything special in their paints, it's not anything special. Never like Berger, Asian mm. paints. If I bring three cans and I do blind test to you, mm. I cover the labels and I ask you to paint, you will not be able to tell me one from the other from the other. Mm. Okay, other mm. than some special color maybe or some special texture. Mm. But if I bring you the base, mm. what you're painting, most houses mm. are painted in mm. of white and I put it in front of you and say paint, you won't be able to tell me. Difference. Difference. Mm. Will you be able to tell me? Because you're done painting. Like that uh, Asian paint, we just analyzed, but never like 
other company paints we he should analyze sir because they know the you'll know it is an error like there's a quality difference quality difference there Asian is. paint is there quality the quality is mm. superior superior and there you go so i have to agree it's not in my circle of competence mm. i do not buy paints not do i paint often mm. not do i have house painting and my decision is not involved in it. my wife only decides what color what mm. paint and all that so you have done painting so then i take your word for it mm. if you're telling me asian paint the paint product itself is superior mm. to the competition then they deserve it that means they're clearly the only paint company in india ah. when you have one and a half billion indians mm. who need painting they can demand a price and that means their earnings revenue streams demand this but my question is does it deserve such a high pe is my question that means future earnings no <laughs> i don't see it mm. now because all this time they have been monopolizing mm. now that birla is coming in other people are vying saying this is a huge opportunity here to make money mm. that's bigger question but now that you're telling me that their paint product itself is so superior birla will have to create a paint mm. which is equal to asian paints and for them to start competing with asian paints is something to watch mm. but birla does have a very great cement company mm. what is it birla cement who owns ultra ultra tech mm. who owns ultra tech look aditya birla mm. mm. right mm. so they have a very good cement company mm. right so their idea is people are using cement my cement mm. and is very popular brand so if i come out with a paint because of the brand loyalty i have with a very great cement product people are just going to use me use me i already have the network mm. construction network mm. supply network warehouse everything i have next to my cement bag you get one free can of birla paint mm. i'll fight but then again like you said Merolac and Berger have been there for some time their paint quality is not as good as asian paints mm. you as a painter mm. you know that so does billa make a product which is going to actually give them a run for the money is something we have to wait and watch mm. then we'll have to see what happens till that point of time these guys are monopolizing the market That's because their product quality mm. is good but does it deserve this kind of pricing i don't know i'm also not agree sir yeah. but uh, even indigo coming into the competition hmm. and uh, mrf you know so they are hmm. also in the competition yes but mrf and indigo and all they don't have the network that bella has hmm. i would not be worried about mrf and indigo who i would be worried about is bella because i explained to you why i'm selling toothbrush mm. man if i'm giving one free toothpaste with a toothbrush of course you'll start using my brand no mm. but the question is my toothpaste should be good my toothbrush might be excellent mm. but my toothpaste must also be good equally good mm. bella has to do that and historically speaking they struggle to do that mm. bella the current team in bella which is running it that's why he's done restructuring if you notice mm. bella recently they did restructuring decision making one new bella team management team one old bella team for the old companies the old team will do mm. decision making for the new companies new team will do decision making so it will be faster something all complicated he said mm. so i don't know so as of now mm. asian paints seems to be the biggest paint company in india mm. there doesn't seem any real competition to them i agree on both those accounts mm. and uh, like you said their product is great i still don't think the earnings mm. price to earnings makes any sense it's not justified for that price yeah because even if you're looking at historically it see, always seems to be overpriced <laughs> but then again I, it's not in my circle of competence mm. i'll have to sit and analyze the paint industry like you said mm. correctly said actually see how many mm. liters of paint they sell why do their customers prefer mm. asian paints asian. we'll have to do that study and come back and then see if this 60 is worth it because a lot of companies where we mm. looked at you no know, like you know your titan and all that we look at the historical average and then we say titan you can never buy at 20 pe maybe you can never buy asian paints at 20 pe mm. because even if i look at the covid crash of asian paint hmm, for asian paints let's see how far it went down it was only at 55 50 57 mm. okay it didn't even break into 20s and all that dude right so no, i 50 sir yeah 50.2 mm. that is in this 24 this 24 yeah so it's been in crazy pa is mm. that you look at this over here and all that during lockdown no one is <laughs> buying paint even then the the price didn't correct earnings had gone down mm. but price still remained high that's why it was at 111 so i don't know if we need to do a further investigation to see mm. why these guys have this kind of a market share about mm. their product and understand it further deep dive into it mm. before we can come back and say these guys deserve this kind of high pe mm. if the impact of the crude oil prices it was rising then it will be definitely hurting the they don't they know no customer only have to pay no it's like mm. india indian government house is doing fuel cost to us petrol mm. the government of india is bothered they say 110 120 130 you pay baba we will have to forego a few more idli masala mm. dosa and few more investment options to let go tiffin coffee we'll have to buy petrol mm. and tiffin coffee this <laughs> so 
this is an interesting uh, idea. So mm. let's do this. Ah. You go and do some research. Mm. Talk to your paint friends. You have some paint mm. friends, no? You talk to them and find out why they like Asian paints, paint over narrow lac and Berger. I have the three years of case study with paint uh, workers and uh, household and businessmen. Also. Okay, I think we should do this in Tamil. Ah. So you do your analysis, you mm. bring your notes. Next Tamil video, you guys keep an eye out for that on the Tamil channel. We are on, on our lessons, we will discuss Asian paints mm. in depth. How Asian paints, you present your case, then mm. you'll see if it's worth holding this kind of a hype. PE for Asia. Ah, okay, we shall go completely against Anand's advice. <laughs> so anyway, as we said, this is a purely intellectual conversation. Mm. We're not asking you to consider Asian paints or not consider it. Then I had some questions about Asian paints because he was from the paint industry mm. before he came and joined us. So he had some experience in it, which he wanted some answers for. So we got more questions out of this, which is very good, which we'll try and answer in a Tamil video much later in the week. So I hope you come and watch that one. MF Hussain, mm. he started with cinema poster. You know who MF Hussain is, no? I don't Forget know. it. <laughs> you first go research who MF Hussein is. Thanks for watching this podcast. Have a wonderful week ahead. Do catch the Tamil video on the Tamil channel when we come out with it. Hopefully, Dana would have figured out who MF Hussein is by then. If not, it's going to be even funnier. So, do like the video. Do comment below on what you think about Asian paints and other paint companies and what your opinion is if you ha have one. And uh, catch Dana on Instagram and do let him know about MF Hussein since he doesn't know. Mm. And me and Dana will see you again soon next week on another podcast. Thank you for watching the video today. Thank you.